All right, here we go. Again. Quarters formation here for the defense. Oh. And it's batted down. Oh. That'll do it for the first half here in the Steel City. Back to Pittsburgh after a break for halftime and the start right. of the third quarter. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Now let's get to it. The Steelers are happy to be sitting in the locker room with a lead. The Broncos didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. So that it's been all. All right. The Broncos talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays yeah. that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. The Broncos just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. It's nearly coming away with an interception. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Drop back. Shotgun formation. The catch is made by Emmanuel Sanders. That's his fourth catch of the day. Third and short following the completion. The Steelers lined up in the nickel. will send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Here's Sanders. Well, they convert this time, but them. they've had a tough time all day long on third down. The Broncos did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. First and ten. Oh, of course. Right out of the wide receiver's hands. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack oh, of concentration. Of You're just Watch not serious ball. about what wow. you're doing. Whew. Scary. <laughs> Double tight end formation. The Broncos have it at the 29. Mitchell's there to take him down. <laughs> When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Anderson's taking the handoff. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. The Broncos, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And, Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. We first down at the 15. He runs with it right up the gut. Oh. Ball's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Ball lines up in the backfield. Second down and nine. Uh, oh. The knocks the ball out incomplete. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. The, this, the NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and nine. Mitchell what was that? coming away with an interception. Nah. That's on me, guys. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. The kick is good. Okay, so 
boy. The game is getting later, and that field goal puts them within striking distance. Yeah, it did that. And, you know, I, I think what, when you look at this game right now, that was a win for the defense. When you get in the second half. Oh, shut up. Good, they didn't score. The Broncos offense takes the field after putting together a nice drive on their last possession. They were finally stopped short of the end zone and had to settle for the field goal. Yeah, they had to settle, but they did a lot of good stuff. And I know on the defensive side, they had them. Good catch. Go, go, go. You gotta go, go. Right go. Go. Race to the end zone. The 10 taking go. all the way home for the touchdown. Oh, thank God. And the lead is theirs now, just before we reach the fourth quarter. Oh, that what was a, a risky throw. That could prove to be. Actually, yeah, they were supposed to go to Thomas. The game where you're starting to think and you, you oh, he snatched it away you from him. That was an interception. The defensive side, you want to start calling plays on the offensive side that eats up the clock. Those things are in play now. is out ah. it's a false start on the offense and that'll cost them five yards false start offense all right all right all right all right we got this momentum that turns into an eight point trip the touchdown and the two this offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator they're all aggressive so hey well it's not good enough just to get a touchdown they want to get that extra point or two points nice job that time so happy right now <laughs> come on hold d hold good d good d the Broncos will be trying oh, to make it three you. successful drives in a row as they retake the field here on offense, partner. They got a great feeling from the offense so far. In other words, they're confident, they feel good, so you need to keep calling plays. They keep the, the offensive players in a positive frame of mind. You do that, hey, I wouldn't be surprised to see it march down here and score again. The Broncos have been fantastic on offense today, and that's big for this team because the offense has struggled oftentimes this season. Well, to say they've struggled oftentimes this season is a big understatement, Jim. They've been borderline. Oh. But maybe they have found something that's going to work for them and get them on the right path. The Steelers guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over, and they got in the backfield and made the tackle. Broncos will take the snap from the 30. Catch made by Demarius Thomas. Catch made. Yeah, <laughs> the ball. The Broncos, like... they never back off. That first down, they got a small lead here in the second half. What are they looking to do? They're looking to march this football down the field and score. Anderson's on the right side, split out wide. Hey, The Broncos are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Thomas there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. The Broncos have actually been passing the football quite well today, which has not been their strength this season. No, Hard to believe not. you can say somebody's having a hard time throwing the football in the NFL nowadays with the rules and, and everything they do for the offense. But today it's clicking, and maybe they'll keep on going even after this game. Mitchell's there to make the stop. Second and short following the run. The Broncos pistol set here. Hand off. Running right through the trenches. Ball is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down coming up. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Balls met after a gain of three. That was a predictable play call here in the fourth quarter. You got a, you got a little lead, 
and you're trying to run the football to run out the clock, but the defense is ready and stopped it for a short game. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. That picks First. up seven. Oh, third and inches. Two oh. minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. Oh, third and inches, guys. Welcome back, coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. They call his name again. Anderson's going to pick up the first down as he's tackled. And they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout. <laughs> The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The Steelers with a nickel look here on defense. First and goal from the seven. He'll throw it over the middle. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yes. Hard to cover these Ooh. tight ends when they get into the end zone because they're fast, they're nimble, and they're big. So even if you cover them, they push off and get the touchdown yeah. catches. <laughs> yes, they do. The Broncos offense doesn't want to do anything to screw this one up at this point, Phil. They've got the lead, and they've got the football late in the game. Ah, oh, you're such a positive guy, Jim. I like that comment. Go down there and tell them that. Don't screw it up. But what do you do in a situation like this? I always like to try to draw the defense off sides on first down because they're anxious, and you can take advantage of that. Anderson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Gets the handle here. They're all over them, behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. Well, that's just the right call to make. In this situation, just run the football. Don't try to be some genius who catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game over with. Third and 12. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. They'll run it with him again. And we gave him the ball back. Let's see what they do. Absolutely nothing to give us the ball back. And the Broncos' uh, offense is on the field yeah. for a victory bow. One kneel down, and then they can celebrate, Phil. What a feeling. Yeah, it's got to be great for them, and what a difference. You look at them walking on the field, you can see the emotion, okay. the body language, and look at the defense. Everybody head down, knowing all that work was was for nothing because you did not win the so game. So we have even enough at 500. 5 and 5, ladies and gentlemen. From 77. Jeez, 5 and 5. 77. So, so far I've split to Kansas City and I've split to the Raiders. I've lost to the Raiders, beat the Raiders, I beat Kansas City, lost to Kansas City. I lost to San Diego, San Diego is going to be my week 17 game. My next game is against For Bill the Bengals. And, all the crew, Jim Nance and then the San Diego. So, long. so, yeah. So thank you for watching, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.